We'll do uh, updo for like a going out party, uh, which should be a little bit more fun and not so tight. Um, so we'll do. We have to start first of all. First of all, the texture of the hair has to be done before. Uh, meaning, like either you use a, a curling iron or a flat iron or a brush to give the nice texture to it. Without the nice, te nice texture to it, you won't get something nice. Okay. So let's do a little bit of teasing. I will start just to tease the roots a little bit to give a little body to the roots, a little, little, you know, like structure to the hair. little spray just at the roots when you're using hairspray you want to use a hairspray that's actually not too strong so you are able to actually comb it through and if you're not happy with the result you can actually brush it and the spray will be gone in a second so you can actually start over and not be stuck with your hair wet or like completely dry and, and un unable to put a comb through it so we'll do a little French twist with a twist. So we'll start with a straight line, the bottom, with flat bobby pins, making your way up for a little structure into your hair. Now I will twist that in there and actually keep some hair to actually stay down. So you have still have a little bit of feeling of having long hair. And just pin it. You might want to use, you know, smaller pins for the bottom because it's a little tighter and bigger, longer pins for the top. So it gives a little bit, um, it's able to actually secure the hair a little stronger. And keep it maybe a little bit messier. It doesn't have to be so clean and neat. Now you just need to wear some nice earrings and you're ready for the party. This is one way to, to updo, you know, for going out at night. I mean, there's so many different updo you can do, so variation can be all different kind of things. Um, it's up to your judgments on your artistic ways of looking.